Hello friends, welcome to a brand new tutorial in NS2. In this tutorial, we'll talk about multicast scenario and I've tried to compile a script of a multicast wired scenario with web traffic in it and we'll see how that works. I'll, I'll put this script of the simulation in in my Dropbox from where you can download it for free well let's get on with this straight away so I have this script for a multicast network with eight nodes and in order to run this script you'll need to run the terminal So you could go to the script files location and in my case I'll need to use start xwin. If you are on a Ubuntu machine you can directly run it because uh, Ubuntu supports NAM window as it is. I've, I've mentioned this problem in my previous video if you are not able to see the NAM window in SIGWIN environment you could go to start xwin x windows terminal that will support it so here you could run the TCL file by writing the command ns followed by the file name so what I'm talking about is this scenario now on this NAM window I see a scenario where I've created these three multicast receive nodes five six seven so getting a little bit into the basics of multicasting if you want to send some data to uh, some receiving nodes in multicast manner or fashion or um, procedure you'll need to put them into one group and you need to send data to that group so if you go back to the TCL file here you'll see that uh, we created a new simulator with multicasting on and I've created these nodes and links between the nodes and with these commands I've oriented these nodes in a fixed fashion so they'll be arranged every time you open the NAM window like this so the multicast starting protocols that you can use are um, these ones centralized multicasting dense mode shared tree and bidirectional shared tree so you could uh, learn theory of these multicasting routing protocols before you perform this simulation and you need to run set m proto and you need to pass the uh, protocol here so for example if i wish to run the multicasting routing protocol dm i pass it on here so then you need to set the groups and i'm i'm creating a new traffic class by the name of www underscore udp underscore agent so which will replicate my uh, web traffic please understand just go through these uh, lines of codes for better understanding how I have created a UDP traffic class for web traffic so 
and by the way this this traffic will be sent to group one and at and of course I have another traffic class to make the network heterogeneous and you'll see that I uh, these I make these receivers n5 n6 n7 join the groups at some point in time and then they leave the group at some point in time so that customization is purely you know, you know dependent upon how you wish to run this simulation but uh, that was the basic explanation of what um, I've tried to do here and if, if you run this simulation you'll see that this node is web traffic and it will send its traffic to group 1 and this will be CBR traffic it will send its traffic to group 2 so different nodes they become part of group 1 or part of group C uh, five node has joined the group right six has joined the group at this point in time so this is what is happening here seven has joined the group now so it's a case of um, you know traffic being sent in a multicast way using DM dense mode and you could change the multicast routing protocol as a parameter in the simulation file also but that being said um, you'll get the output dot trace file for uh, this particular TCL file in your mm, folder where this simulation file is located so you could analyze it later um, for for you know different routing protocols how they perform with respect to each other and you could vary different network parameters also uh, for experimental purposes but the idea of this video is to uh, pass on this um, a simulation scenario which is multicast in nature and with some amount of dynamics involved where the nodes are joining a group and leaving a group at some point in time so I hope uh, uh, you'll find this file helpful for experimentation and this video of some help and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel I'll see you around in the next video take care bye bye